I'm uh, recording this video to show my uh, research on how to establish a VPN uh, between uh, two devices uh, behind uh, an active connection or uh, behind the router uh, without any port forwarding uh, created up front without using UPnP or anything. Uh, just basically using um, UDP hole punching um, as the um, base idea or technology to um, uh, allow for the initial connection that uh, allows us to establish the uh, uh, connection peer-to-peer -peer between the two points that are be behind the, the routers. Um, so this uh, started uh, a few days ago. I, I was curious, I've actually been curious for a number of years on how peer-to-peer -peer software, uh, BitTorrents and things like that, uh, uh, torrents and, and, and uh, other similar technologies uh, can um, uh, send and receive data um, when they are behind uh, a router. Um, so I decided to look into it um, and find this really cool video, found this really cool video on uh, uh, UDP hole punching. And uh, because of this uh, a pretty um, ingenious uh, and simple after you know how it works, but the, the base idea is that um, you, um, uh, without uh, actually creating a port forwarding rule on the router, um, if you connect from point A to point B uh, and, um, um, and start the connection as a client from both sides uh, uh, by specifying that the destination port that you will use on one side is your source port on the other side, uh, then your router will pick up on that connection um, if it's done via UDP, even if it's stateless, and they will recognize it as a valid connection and they will add it to the uh, NAT table uh, and it will allow you to communicate uh, both ways. So uh, pretty cool video, I, I recommend you uh, watch it. Uh, however, there are some uh, limitations in this video, uh, one of which being that um, uh, in this example, um, they uh, they only uh, cover one, well, only one of the computers is behind the router. Uh, the other one seems to be on a public uh, uh, connection, uh, so it's uh, directly connected to the internet. Um, so uh, I I, um, I basically wanted to do the same, but with both machines uh, behind uh, a router. Um, also, I noticed that um, he was using HPing three uh, to basically uh, simulate the data going from the computer behind uh, the 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 router um, to um, uh, to the external computer as a, as a client connection, um, but that requires root privileges. Uh, so I, I I theorized that I would be able to do this just using NatCat and client mode on both sides, and it worked. So pretty straightforward, uh, not mind blowing, but it was mind blowing to me because I didn't know that uh, this would work. So. Anyway, after I tested this and figured out that it worked, I theorized that it would be possible to do the exact same, to create a full uh, VPN between um, two computers uh, um, uh, behind NATs. Um, so that's basically what I'm, uh, rec why I'm recording this video, um, to, to show how, how to do that. Uh, so first, let me uh, show the, the basics of this. Uh, the idea is that um, um, on the right side here, um, uh, all the terminals that you see on the right side, uh, are for um, uh, one set of servers. Um, uh, they're, they're in one connection here in my house. And on this other side, uh, you have the, uh, um, on the left side, you have terminals connected in my office. So as you can see, the external IP is different uh, for both computers uh, and they're behind that. Uh, if I do, um, uh, if configure here, you can see that uh, this is the local IP address for this guy. Uh, the router is 10.0.0.1. Uh, and on this guy, uh, the local IP is uh, 192.168.100.119, and the gateway is uh, 192.168.100.1. So um, they don't have, uh, 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 there's no direct connection between these guys. So um, if I uh, create um, a netcat um, a server here on this side and listen, let's say on port uh, um, uh, 17,801, uh, and then on this side, I try to uh, connect to it um, by connecting to, uh, by saying that my local port, for instance, is uh, 1,700, uh, 802, um, and then I want to connect via UDP to uh, this ex external IP address here on port 17801. Uh, uh, as you can see, there's no uh, data going um, uh, anywhere. Um, and um, so what, what I theorized is that I, I could do the exact same um, um, thing that the other guy in the video was doing, where 
I just do an ACAC connection, but I now invert it and say that my local IP address is 17, my local port is 17801, and I'm going to connect via um, UDP to uh, this IP here. And uh, my destination port is uh, 17802. Um, and <laughs> hey, I have to start with another port here. Um, let me connect port 803804. And I'm going to connect here with saying that my local one is 804803. something wrong here. So I want to connect with local port 17802 to the remote computer uh, on port 17801. This obviously doesn't go through, but now if I connect Saying that my local port is 17801, the other guy is on 802. Okay, now it is working. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Second time that this has failed. But anyway, um, as I was showing here, on the first uh, uh, attempt when I was listening on port on local port 17801, um, uh, no data would go through. Uh, and the reason for that is that there was no uh, no connection, uh, no established connection. Um, sorry, no port forwarding. So because of that, the, the, the stream would not go uh, through because the router wouldn't even know where to connect it to. But once we um, initiate a client connection um, um, from the from the other side, from the theoretical server uh, to the um, to the original client, um, and saying that my local port is that. Um, um, destination port of the other side and saying that uh, uh, my um, uh, destination port is the local port of the other side, uh, then I can create a, a stream. And um, I have these other two terminals here. Uh, this is for the actual router. Um, so the interesting thing here is that if I now uh, do a next step net, uh, you can see that uh, there is a connection uh, going from this local IP to the remote one uh, on port 17802. And on the other side, if I look for port uh, seven, uh, 17802, you see that there's a local connection uh, going from this port uh, to the remote server uh, on port 17801. So anyway, uh, we basically showed how, um, how it is possible to uh, establish a connection uh, um, uh, going both ways uh, from um, uh, to, to, to basically initiate a connection to servers that are behind uh, uh, um, a router, right? So there's no, no direct port for it. So anyway, um, the reason why I'm showing this is that um, I then theorized that it would be possible to actually create a full VPN um, uh, with this exact same con uh, concept. So I looked online and I found this, uh, uh, this project here um, called, let's see, it's fairly, Used it. Uh, UVP tap. All right, UVP tap until master. Um, and what this allows you to do is uh, basically create a, a, a client to server connection um, um, over UDP to uh, create a tune tap uh, tunnel. Um, so, using the exact same uh, uh, concept, um, all I theorize is that I would be able to just create the two clients, uh, the two guys in client mode. Uh, specifying the uh, um, local IP and local port as I did on the um, uh, on my previous example, and it worked. Um, so let me uh, show you that. All right. So um, start with a fresh set of ports here. Uh, on this side, I'm basically going to say I have this uh, uh, my key file. Um, and the my key file uh, it just says my secret key, and on this side uh, I have the same key. Okay, so my secret uh, key. Um, and so all we have to do here is 
I basically need to um, start the um, the software and client mode saying that my local IP is um, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, so that it binds to uh, all addresses. Uh, my local port, I'm going to use, uh, I don't know, 9101. Uh, this is the remote IP, and I'm saying that the other guy is on port 9102. All right. I do that, and then on the other side, I do the exact same, but that my local port is uh, 19,102. Mm, the destination IP is this other guy here somewhere. And uh, the remote uh, port is 19,101. Okay. All right. So now that that is running, should be able to do if config. And we see that we have a new um, uh, interface uh, uh, popped up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it up with um, uh, an IP address here. So I'm going to, on the server, uh, let's say that this is, guy is the server. And on the client, So I'm going to give an IP address of 192.168.91 on the server, 192.168.92 uh, on the, the client. And so um, now if I ping 90.1, I can ping it. Like if, if I ping 90.2, I can also ping it. So pretty cool. Um, we basically just established a, a VPN connection uh, between two machines behind that without any port forwarding. So Pretty, uh, pretty cool stuff, and um, should not be even be able to um, SSH into here. Actually, we didn't test this up front, but uh, yeah, should allow me to connect to that guy. There you go, and I'm now at the home office instead of the LoveWorks office. All right, just um, some interesting research on, on how to, um, to create a tunnel uh, between two machines behind that. Uh, 